curled up on the floor of a school, sharing just a mattress with only a few sheets for warmth. This was the scene in Gaza this morning as Palestinian children took shelter. Israeli leaflets dropped by air warned them of an imminent aerial bombardment. So these families late in the night fled and swapped their bedrooms for classrooms. This woman explained the speed in which they left meant her children left barefoot. We didn't come here to save our souls, she said, but those of our children who woke up at 1 a.m. terrified. The promise of a major Israeli attack wasn't fulfilled last night, although the rockets from both sides of the border continued. More than 170 Palestinians have died in the last seven days, and the tension which grips the region is showing no signs of easing. We're targeting the rocketeers. The rocketeers are firing from homes. These uh, homes are actually command posts. No Israelis have been killed during the latest violence. One of the reasons is probably this their complex Iron Dome missile defense system, which detects incoming rockets and allows Israeli forces to strike back before rockets land. There may have cause for concern, though. If reports that it shot down a drone flying along its southern border are confirmed, this new sophisticated weapon may require a new response. More rockets were fired into Israel from Lebanon this morning, the third reported attack since Friday. The response world leaders are looking for is restraint. The United Kingdom has three objectives, to secure a ceasefire, to alleviate humanitarian suffering and to keep alive the prospects for peace negotiations, which are the only hope of breaking this cycle of violence and devastation once and for all. Tonight, the Arab League is hosting a special meeting and the EU is pressing for a ceasefire. But the human cost of this conflict keeps growing. This 12-year-old boy lost 18 members of his family in one Israeli air raid. For now, more bloodshed and more killing seem the most likely immediate outcome. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.